When it comes down to picking the right tire for the right vehicle for the right application, there is no doubt that there is an overwhelming amount of high quality, high performing tires out in the market today, especially in the all-terrain category. Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Trailbuilt and today we're going to compare the differences of two of the most popular tires on the market in our first head-to-head -head tire matchup video series with the goal of helping you guys in making the tire buying process a little less overwhelming. So make sure and smash that subscribe button so that way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. All right guys, let's go check out our first two matchups. Ready? Let's go. Now we're going to start with two very popular all-terrain tires in our first tire-to-tire -tire matchup, but in future videos we'll be comparing crossover tires, also known as rugged terrain or rough terrain tires, mud terrain tires, or any other type of tire matchup or brand and model head-to-head -head matchup that you guys want to see. So make sure and let us know what you guys want compared in the comments below. Also guys, remember that all of the information that I'm going to go through with you today can all be found right on our website at trailbeltoffroad.com. From there, you can search for tires with the search tires tab, or you can search by the make and model of your vehicle. Plus, if you package a set of wheels or rims with your set of tires, we'll mount them and balance them for you at no additional charge. Plus, if you package a set of wheels or rims with your set of tires, we will mount them and balance them for you at no additional charge, saving you guys on average about $200 on tire and wheel packages when compared to having the tires mounted locally. And we'll also ship them to you at no extra charge if you live in the lower 48 states, and that is a heck of a deal. So getting started, we have in front of us the ever popular and iconic BF Goodrich KO2 All-Terrain, which has been an icon and pinnacle tire in the all-terrain category, and we'll be comparing it to the also very popular Falcon Wild Peak AT3W, which is a much newer redesigned all-terrain compared to the KO2 that's been out for a few years now. Why did we start with the BFG KO2 and the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W? Well, it's simple. Because of all of the requests and questions that we get from all of you asking us which tires we prefer or recommend or which one is better, and the list goes on and on. So we wanted to create these comparison matchup tire videos to provide the data for you guys to help save you hours and hours of research that one can spend looking at tires, right? First. When looking at tires, we need to consider our own individual applications and uses for the vehicle that we're going to be installing the tires on. Is it a work truck that hauls heavy trailers and occasionally goes off-road, but longevity and durability are the main factors here? Is it a weekend warrior Jeep that is used as a daily driver and traction performance and a long-lasting tread life is important? Are we using our 4x4 as an overland rig and we need a tire to stand up to the variety of conditions like weight carrying capacity, off-road and on-road traction and performance, resistance against trail damage like cuts and punctures. This vehicle could also be a daily driver that may never see dirt unless it's someone's gravel driveway, but this daily driver may be in an area that sees five months of winter, for example, with varying snow and icy conditions. There are so many variables out there and that is why it can be a challenge in finding the right tire for the right conditions, hence why we are starting within the all-terrain category. So wrapped around this Anthem Avenger that you can find on our website, trailbuiltoffroad.com, is the BFG KO2. So let's take a close look at this BFG KO2 and some of the characteristics and benefits, starting with their huge selection of sizes and types. When I say types, the KO2 is available in C, D, and E load ranges, which can be filtered on our site by load rating in the filters options. For example, if we take a light truck 285-70R17, the C load range offers a max load pressure at 50 PSI of 2,775 pounds per tire with a six ply sidewall, whereas the E load is up to 3,095 pounds at 80 PSI with a 10 ply sidewall. Plus, they're available in the R speed rating, S, Q, and T speed rating as well. Similar to the Falcon Wild Peak, except the Wild Peak also has an additional SL rating to signify that they're for dual rear wheel applications. For sizes, the BFG has this category captured with 
87 different sizes for six different wheel sizes from 15 inch up to 22 inch wheels compared to the wild peaks which have 66 available sizing for wheels from 15 inches up to 22 inches in size the falcons offer a 55,000 limited tread life warranty whereas the bfgs offer a 50,000 mile warranty but also for six years from the date of purchase but whichever comes first Another reason for comparing the BFG KO2 with the Wild Peak AT3W is that they both are three peak snowflake rated, meaning that these have met stringent requirements set forth by the US Tire Manufacturers Association and the Rubber Association of Canada to identify passenger and light truck tires that provide a higher level of snow traction and meets required performance criteria to be considered a severe snow rated tire. So that way you guys can feel confident in the snow or on the ice with both of these tires. Now what we did is we made sure to obviously compare the same size tires in the same load rating. So both of these are going to be the 285 70 on 17 inch wheels and they both are C rated so we can compare exactly what the differences are in the KO2 compared to the AT3W. Starting with the obvious the looks of the tire, you can tell right away that these have these angled saw blade sort of looking side biters that do give the uh, tire a pretty aggressive appearance. You can tell on the, the tread blocks and the tread design, there's a bunch of different siping on there. There's stone ejectors. They have these multi varied shoulder blocks here to help scoop some of that mud out. They have the different angled C-shaped tread blocks. And sometimes one of the noticeable features between different tires when comparing them is the inflated tire size itself. Now the BFG KO2 comes in at 32.8 inches at its inflated size, and so does the Wild Peak AT3W, which is pretty cool that they're identical that way. The weight on these comes in right at 51.37 pounds, which is gonna be a little bit more than the Falcon Wild Peak. The other thing is the BFG GKO2 does have a six ply sidewall. So with all of that said, let's go ahead, let's go take a look at the Falcon Wild Peaks. So first things first, when looking at the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W, as you notice, there is a little bit of difference, obviously, in the design of the tire, especially these side biters. They still have this sort of angled side biter that looks somewhat like a saw blade. It's sort of directional how it's angled up like that, but you do have that a little bit of extra traction there with these side biters. You have the raised Falcon rubber on the side, on the side here written in there, and then and another thing that I noticed too on the Falcon Wild Peaks, which I found kind of interesting, is that they do have these cooling fins along this inner bead of the tire here, which always makes me kind of question why are they there? Was, was this tire heating up at one point so they had to add the fins in there or is it just an extra precaution if you are running low air pressure, for example, and maybe they put these on here to help dissipate the heat, but you don't see that on any other tire out there that I know of. So either ingenious or a design flaw, I'm not really sure. Another thing too is you can tell right away that this shoulder blocks are designed a little bit different. They still have the larger shoulder blocks on the outer edge of the tire and then the scattered or, or staggered inner tread blocks here along the center of the tire to help cut down on that road noise. Plus plenty of siphing to go through all the tread blocks just like the KO2. So then with the tread and the tread depth, the tread depth on the Falcon Wild Peak is actually 18 compared to whereas the KO2 was 15. So you do get a little bit more tread depth on the Falcon Wild Peaks, which can be an advantage if you're trying to kick out some mud or sand or snow or whatever it may be. Plus you do get a little bit more tread life because if you have taller treads, there's more to wear down too. So now for some reason, I was thinking that the KO2 was heavier when in fact the 285 70 R17 Falcon Wild Peak is actually just a little bit more heavier coming in at right around 54 pounds compared to the KO2, which is right around that 51 pounds. So, and then also this is with being a sea load rating tire this also has the six ply sidewall just like the ko2 now with that said let's go ahead and let's compare pricing now that we have identified most of the key differentiators between the ko2 and the wild peak and for many of us the most important thing to look at is the difference in their price now if we had a passenger rated 285 70 17 the wild peak would be $100 less for a set of four coming in at just over $1,000 
but because we have the sea load range for both tires in the light truck sizes, 285-70R17, the Wild Peak AT3W comes in at just over $1,200 for a set of four compared to the BFG KO2, coming in at just over $1,100 for a set of four. For some, a hundred bucks may make or break the deal in deciding between the two, but for others, it may be the reputation of one over the other or what tires will be used for what, or even maybe because your buddy runs one of these tires or one of these tires and swears by them. Whatever the case may be, we hope this video has helped you out in one way or another in deciding what your next purchase is going to be from trailbuildoffroad.com. And if any of you are running either the BFG KO2 or the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W, let us know how you like them. Or even if you guys have any questions on either of these tires, just let us know in the comments below. Other than that, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, thumbs up to like the video. And as always, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys back again shortly.